12 reasons to love Edmonton. Of course, there are many more reasons to love Edmonton, but I have limited my list to 12. Some of these are pretty obvious. You might've heard them before, and some of them I'm sure you haven't. I'm Jen McPhillamy, your Edmonton expert, and here are my 12 reasons to love Edmonton. Number one, the Oilers and their fans. From the Wayne Gretzky era to the McDavid era, the Oilers have been so fun to watch. We have five Stanley Cups. We nearly snagged another Stanley Cup in 2024, and things are looking pretty good for next season. Anyway, if you're ever in the city during an Oilers game, make sure you go check out a game. It will not disappoint you. Number two. In Edmonton, you're gonna find that the commutes are really short compared to other major cities. I remember having clients moving here from the GTA and they're asking me how long the commutes are. They didn't really want super long commutes. And I was like, oh, maybe they don't wanna to move to the new area because it's the longest commute. And so I asked them, what do you think a long commute is? And they're like, well, nothing over two hours. Two hours. I think you'd have to drive the Anthony Hende twice to take two hours to get anywhere. The longest commutes in rush hour are about an hour, maybe just over an hour, unless you're traveling like far outside the city. But I mean, in the Edmonton metropolitan region, it shouldn't take you longer than an hour to get anywhere. Number three, and this one's probably more personal to me and definitely doesn't suit everybody, but I love the dog parks here in Edmonton. So if you have dogs, Edmonton dog parks are the best. So there's a variety of dog parks depending on your needs for your dog. Then we have fenced dog parks, non-fenced dog parks, treat areas, a lot of dog parks in the River Valley. So they have access to the water, which is amazing. The dog parks are generally really big. Like I could easily do a 5K loop in a number of the dog parks here. So one of the big differences in Edmonton at the dog parks compared to like, let's say Calgary, is that there's a lot of garbages to throw away the poop bags. And in fact, if you forgot a poop bag, they actually have them there. Isn't that nice? Like I was visiting Calgary the other day and I took my dog to the dog park, running low on bags. I was just checking to see if there was any that they provide, nothing. And then when they did poop and I had to pick up their poop that had nowhere to put the bag. It was like one garbage can at the parking lot. It's pretty annoying. But in Edmonton, you don't have to be annoyed. Number four, long summer days. I love the summer. In fact, I feel less tired in the summer because the days are so long. I mean, it could hinder you a bit if you need to sleep because it's so bright for so long. But man, I love the long summer days. If you work a long day, you don't feel like you have to go straight to bed because it's dark. You still have a number of hours to get out there and enjoy the dog parks or the river valley or a baseball game or whatever you really like to do outside in your spare time. It's awesome. Number five, all the unique little areas in Edmonton. Let me list a few for you. So we have the Ice District, the Warehouse District, the Brewery District, Chinatown, Little Italy, White App, 124th Street, 104th Street Promenade, and the Arts District. The list goes on. It's amazing, and you have to check out all of these communities when you're here. Number six, of course, you've heard this one before, the festivals. Festivals, arts, and culture in Edmonton are second to none. They are amazing. Communities are awesome, and there's so much to enjoy here. As so many people say that the only thing here in Edmonton is the mall and the Oilers, that is not true. You'll be pleasantly surprised once you're here checking out the scene. There is so much to do and so much rich culture here. There's been this new thing that the Malcor building started. It says, take a risk. It's the most Edmonton thing you can do. And the reason they did that was to inspire other businesses in the Edmonton area to get their own walls painted with some artwork. And some people are coming up with some creative things. Let me show you a few. Number seven, post-secondary schools. There's a variety of post-secondary schools 
from big universities like the University of Alberta, where there's a ton of research done, the University Hospital is there, to the trade schools like Nate and another large university, Grant McEwen University in downtown Edmonton. In addition to those main ones, there's a ton of specialty colleges and universities to choose from. Number eight, in my opinion, not everybody shares this, but I think that the healthcare is great here. Now for regular healthcare, like your day-to-day -day things where you have to go to a medi center, those places might have longer waiting times than you're used to. However, when it comes to really serious things like cancer, our Cross Cancer Institute is one of the best in the world. I can tell you from personal experience as I'm a breast cancer survivor and they took excellent care of me there. Not only did they implement the latest and greatest for strategies to help beat my cancer, because some of these were so new, the Alberta government wasn't covering all of the drugs that I needed. They assigned me a drug access coordinator who was able to negotiate with the drug companies and get me those life-saving drugs I needed for free. I couldn't be more grateful than for the healthcare that we have here. Number nine, of course, West Edmonton Mall. It's a love-hate for me. It's great that we have it. I guess I take it for granted because we have it. So dang busy, very frustrating that way, but it's really nice to have under one roof. You can go swimming, skating, bowling, go-kart driving. There's a amusement park, a casino, plus all the shops that you need. And sometimes even two of them, depending on which phase you're in. And by phase, I mean phase of the mall. Number 10, you might not see it this way, depending on how you feel about driving, but we're close proximity to the mountains. Nope, we're not as close as Calgary, but we're definitely closer than Saskatchewan or Toronto. In a short three and a half to four hour drive, depending on how fast you go or the road conditions, you can be in Jasper. It's a great little mountain community. It's not as touristy as let's say like Banff or Lake Louise, but it is beautiful. On your way into Jasper, there's this lake that people can stop at and it looks pretty big, but, but you can actually walk across the lake without it going over your head. And it's super warm. So it's a nice and refreshing spot to stop and take in the scenery. Plus, dogs are allowed in it. So that was awesome for me and the girls when I took them there. They had a ton of fun running around in that water. Number 11, employment opportunities. Now we might not have every sector here. I'm pretty sure with the amount of opportunities we have in, for employment, your skills would be transferable to something similar to what you've been doing from where you're from. I'd say also competition for jobs really isn't that high. Often, like with my current job, I rarely compete with anybody. In fact, I often get recruiters calling me asking me if I'm looking for a change. And I'm pretty used to that here. So I think if I had to go somewhere else, competing with other people could be difficult and maybe a little bit of a rude awakening for me. But if you're coming here, you might find that nice. And number 12, variety. From food to shopping to housing, there is a ton of variety in Edmonton. I am not a foodie, but what I've been told for people that visit here, they love the food choices in Edmonton. You could get almost any culture of food. It's not gonna be too Canadian or Americanized. It's gonna be the real deal. Also a ton of unique shopping. Check out White Ave. That's one of my favorite places to go for unique shopping. And then housing. We have a lot of variety of different types of housing here from apartment rentals to purchasing your own home and your own home could be an apartment style condo, townhouses, a home, or an acreage with lots of land. It is actually attainable and affordable in Edmonton. And I know affordability is a matter of perspective, but when you compare it to other big cities in Canada, even Calgary, where more cost effective. Did I miss something that you really love about Edmonton? Put it in the comments below so other people can see it. If you haven't seen my video yet on why Edmonton is the worst, I have seven reasons for why Edmonton is the worst. Check that video out next. If you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and click that like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you're thinking of moving to Edmonton and, need, and want to reach out to me, go ahead and click that link in my description below to book a meeting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.